Hello and welcome, and thanks for signing up for the Aquatic Battle Royale Tournament a Rebirth Island. That's right, we're going to be playing this tournament on Rebirth Island. In the event, with the new update and the new season that's coming out this week, if Rebirth Island gets taken out of rotation, what we will do is, for the tournament, we will play this tournament on Fortune's Keep, the new map resurgence map it's going to be fun let's talk about the rules talk about some information and everything you need to do to get ready and get started for this event let's get it all right guys so let's get started let me introduce myself a lot of you guys know me for those of you that don't know me welcome to the captain's quarters my name is bearded i'm a part of aquatic esports the organization that is hosting this event, which is for gamers and pro gamers and the average gamers and non-gamers alike. So if you want to figure out, hey, how do I take my first steps in esports content creation? Aquatic Esports is the great place to start. We'll have a link to the Discord below. But long story short, we're setting up this event. It's going to be different. It's going to be new. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be really fun. So Let's get started with this. This tournament set up as a 16 team bracket style kill race plus placement score tournament. Okay, what does that mean? Hey, to all my basketball players out there, think about it like March Madness. Everyone's set up in round one, everyone plays. The winners of round one go on to round two, round two to round three, and then round three to the championship match. And whoever wins that final round wins the money, baby. With this being a quads tournament, you're allowed to have five people on your roster. That fifth person is going to be someone you can sub out through the whole event, okay? In the event that someone can't make it, work, late, whatever, you'll have that fifth person on your roster, okay? Uh, this event starts June 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? East Coast. So, the event goes live at 1 Pre-game show up until 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, we run right into the first match. And we'll have a shotgun start at 2 o'clock. And that'll be message on the Aquatic Discord on a specific channel, which I'll show you by the end of this video where that will be. Okay? You'll also post your scores there. So what we'll need is your best two games within that 16 minutes. If something comes up or you get involved with a hacker, I do encourage you guys to have everyone on your squad stream because the more details you have or you have more video recorded excuse me of the event of what happened you'll need to clip that and post that in the discord channel for the moderators to look at in case something does come up where um there is proof that there was a hacker in the lobby. We will extend your time to play another match beyond the 2 o'clock time, okay? So first round, again, you start at 2, we finish up at 3, we tally our scores at the end, and we'll move on to the next round based on who won, okay? Now the points and how they're set out, it's kill race plus placement. All right, so let's break down the scoring. How the scoring works is that for one kill, you get one Point, okay, and obviously that adds up as the more kills you get, but the placement points are broken down like this If you finish inside the top 10 you get three points if you finish inside the top five You get five points if you finish inside the top three you get seven points And finally if you finish if you finish first and you win the match you get ten points all those stack So if you win the match you'll get an additional 25 points on top of all the kills that you got that game So it makes a unique scoring system especially in that hour block that you have to complete these matches against the other Quads team you're facing so it should make for a very fun match All right, so I'm going to show you how to post the scores real quick We're going to post the scores on aquatics discord So what we're going to do is that we're going to hop in the discord if you if you're not a part of the discord uh, There's a link below in the description that'll get you into the discord and you'll start here One thing you'll need to do is to like the thumbs up just because that gives you access to call of duty uh, but long story short, you're going to start here. You're going to take the left hand side, scroll down a little bit, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down till we get to uh, the esports side, Call of Duty Warzone tab. And then what we're going to do there is that we're going to post the scores and I'm going to show you how the scores need to be posted. What you're going to do is that you're going to take a snapshot of your best two games. And at that point, you're going to go to the discord, take two screenshots of your placement okay as well as how many kills you got for games one and two that you pick in that hour block those are going to auto populate right there you'll put your team name there like for instance team bearded 
I finished first. There's all the kills we got for game one and I would just rinse and repeat and do that for game two. Then at that point, this makes it easier for our mods to uh, tally up all the scores. If there is a cheater in one of your lobbies at this point, you will also post in the eSports Call of Duty Warzone tab. You will post here um, if the proof you need to show us that there was a hacker in the lobby, okay? So again, join the Aquatic Discord, go to the eSports section, go down to Call of Duty Warzone. That's where you'll post your scores. You'll label it Team Bearded, for instance, or whatever your team name is. You're gonna show the placement along with uh, all the kills you got for that day for your best two games in the hour block, okay? Easiest way to do it is either take a screenshot with your phone while you're at the end game or clip it from your uh, stream. Those are the two easiest ways to do it. If you're on console, you can also take a screenshot there, download it, and post it on here as well. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. One thing to add as well uh, for the Discord is that this is when the shotgun starts are going to be commenced, okay? We're going to have one of our moderators say it's now 2 o'clock. You can begin your matches. You'll load into your match. They will also say, hey, it's 2.59. You should be concluding your final match or loaded into your final match. And then at that point, um, you will post your scores after we finish all that. Uh, they'll tally up the scores, just like I said earlier. But on top of that, they will let you know when to start the next match round just in case if there's a hacker in the lobby and, and it prolongs the first round second round or third round or whatever round it is so make sure no one's starting too early okay if you have any questions again hit the comments below one last thing i want to talk about is the schedule june 25th okay 1 p.m starts the pregame and introduction show okay uh, the first round of the 16 bracket head-to-head -head kill race plus placement aquatic inaugural battle royale tourney of rebirth island begins at 2 p.m eastern standard time okay we're gonna wrap up the first round at three o'clock we're gonna do all the scoring we're gonna do all the um Essentially, uh, where everyone plays, who moves on to the next round from 3 to 3.30 over on the Twitch channel again, Aquatic Esports. Second round begins at 3.30. Again, another intermission at 4.30. 5 o'clock is when the third round starts. And then finally, we wrap up the tournament with the championship round starting at 6 p.m. Okay, with the results show at 7. Okay, again, the breakdown is $500 for this tournament is the prize pool. $400 goes to first place, $100 goes to second place. Really going to be a fun time. Really excited about that. So real quick, one thing I do want to bring up is that the person that is streaming and also hosting your quads matches needs to show their geolocation to make sure no one's using a VPN. That way they can, uh, you know, put their geolocation in somewhere that's more favorable than everybody else. Uh, so what you'll do is that the person that is hosting on your team will need to start their stream. Okay. Again, I advise everyone that the more people that stream, okay, uh, provides for better proof that if there's any hackers, but you only have to have one person stream. Okay. And that is the person that's hosting the match. If at any point in time that you get kicked out of the game or, you know, um, you get a dev error, you will have to show this again before you can start up the next match. But long story short, if you're on controller, you press start, or you just go to your account settings, then what you're going to do is switch on over to account over here, go down to geographic region, turn it on, just seem to show where it is. Okay. As you can see where mine is, it's in Palm Harbor, Florida. Uh, at the start of the stream just so we can verify that okay if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a dm why why we're doing this but essentially uh, we want to make sure it's fair across um, all the playing fields okay thanks hey guys one last thing before we let you go the best place to get information about this tournament and upcoming tournaments is my twitter page uh, feel free to hop on there and give me a follow it's at Bearded Guns with a Z at the end instead of an S. Uh, we plan on, it, depending on how well this tournament goes, if it goes astronomically well, which I plan on making it that way, uh, we're going to have more of these tournaments in the future, and it's going to be really fun, okay? So stay tuned. Give me a follow on Twitter so you can stay up to date with all the new tournaments coming out, and we'll see you Saturday.